What is peritoneal dialysis? Inside your child's belly, also called the abdomen, there are organs just like the kidneys, the liver, the spleen, the intestines, and others. Here's your abdomen. Inside of the abdomen is covered in a thin lining or membrane, which is called the peritoneum. This is where peritoneal dialysis gets its name. The peritoneum is full of blood vessels. It acts as a filter to help clean blood during peritoneal dialysis. Before dialysis can start, a special tube called a peritoneal dialysis catheter will need to be placed inside your child's abdomen. Part of the catheter stays outside of the body, connecting to the peritoneal cavity. This allows us to pump and drain an important liquid called dialysate into your child's abdomen. Let's travel into your child's peritoneal cavity and see how this works. There are three steps of peritoneal dialysis, drain, fill, and dwell. Together, these steps represent one cycle. First, fluid is drained from the abdomen and leaves the body through the dialysis catheter. It takes toxins out of the body with it. Step two is fill. A special sugary solution called dialysate enters the peritoneal cavity through the catheter. Step three is dwell. The dialysate solution sits in the abdomen and pulls waste and extra fluid from the body. The dwell time is how long the fluid sits in the abdomen. The steps repeat, starting another cycle of drain, fill, and dwell. Each cycle should remove some fluid from the body. The extra fluid that is removed is called ultrafiltrate or UF. After all of the cycles are done, the cycler will tell you the total amount of extra fluid or UF removed. Any fluid that drains from the abdomen is also called effluent. The doctors will set your dialysis prescription. This includes the number of cycles your child will have each night, the dwell volume, which is how much fluid or dialysate will go into the abdomen with each cycle. This amount may increase as your child grows. The fluid that goes into the abdomen is called dialysate. The fluid is a sugary solution where doctors can adjust the amount of sugar. Another name for sugar is dextrose. Your dialysis team will ask you to record important details about your child every day. They want to make sure your child's peritoneal dialysis is done correctly. We like to use a worksheet to write down these details. Your dialysis team may give you one like it or have you keep track in other ways. We will fill this out with you as we go through the teaching. Let's review some concepts now. When the kidneys stop working, we need dialysis. Dialysis removes toxins and extra fluid from the body. Peritoneal dialysis uses a sugary solution that goes into your child's abdomen through a special tube called a catheter. The steps of peritoneal dialysis are drain, fill, and dwell. Good work. You just learned so much about peritoneal dialysis. Replay this video as many times as you need. There won't be a test, but now we will practice all of the care you need to learn at home.